Hey y'all, I'm back. I missed y'all, I hope you missed me. Um, things are good, oh Bill Mayer in the background. Um, I am back working pretty much four or five shifts a week now, so things are good. They're slowly getting back to, I mean, they'll never be normal, but you know, we'll call it Abby something. Abby normal. Anyway, so I have been recently turned on, been turned on to a delicious rye. Most of you know, maybe the Angels Envy, they also make a bourbon, but uh, one of my guests at the hotel treated me to this stuff, so I am going to make two cocktails tonight with the rock. Um, first, we're going to do a Ward 8, and even though it's supposed to go in a regular glass, I'm sticking in my coupe glass because I love this glass, and then we're going to do a Whiskey Daisy. Okay, um, first off, the Ward 8, I'm going to take my little shake, 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 shaker. I like this kind of shaker because I could shake it, shake it, shake it. Anyway, so, first, obviously, ice, ice, baby. Remember, I tell you all the time, if you have guests, you're going to use a scoop or a tongs, but I'm by myself, except the uh, dogs and the princess, Biatch, turtle dove, who has now been fixed. Another week, and she's outside, baby, another week. Oh, anyway, so first, this calls for... Two ounces of rye. Smells sweet. I think rye tends to be a little sweeter. Don't quote me on that, because you know me. Even though I've been a bartender for over 40 years, I'm still learning. Okay, so we're going to do, this says two ounces. Oh, boy. Here we go. Thank God it's Friday night. I'm actually not working for the first time in forever. So I'm going to take advantage of it and get a little buzz. Don't laugh. Okay. That's two ounces of rye. Then it asks for three quarters ounces of lemon juice. You know, I love my organic lemon juice. Flip flops and you run away. Baby crazy. But I don't, oh, don't know the words. <laughs> Three quarters of an ounce of orange juice. Organic, of course. And then it calls for a dash. Of grenadine. You know I like sweet. It's almost like it's a whiskey sour. Whiskey sour with a touch of grenadine. Sounds okay. Or a rye sour. Whiskey, it's a it's a whiskey anyway. It's brown and it's a whiskey. So put that in my little trusty shaker, and you know what comes next. <laughs> with a bound in the background. You, might, might, <laughs> you want to make it nice and frosty. And when you just think it's not cold enough, keep going. Oh, that's good. Take a chilled glass, coop glass they call this. You know, I'm kind of learning all the lingo. You'd think I would know these things by now. But it, every day you learn. Oh, look, that's a great color. That is a great, delicious color. Obviously, I, I was a little stingy on the, the pores because I can't drink this whole thing and then do another one. Cheers, everybody. Ward 8. It is a little tart, but it's good. Look at that color. Very purdy. Yeah, it might be a little too tart for my... Oh! You know what? 
Did I forget simple syrup? No. I guess the grenadine's supposed to make it sweet. It's delightful. Not too sweet, which I normally like, but it's good. It's very drinkable for me. A little heady because of the rye, but, and here we go again. I can't get my shaker open. So I'm just going to pour this back in there for later. Oh, maybe I'll take another sip. Oh, that's good. That's good. Tart. I mean, I guess you could make it a little sweeter if you'd like. It's magically delicious. All right, put that one away aside for later. Mike Barry. All right, now, I'm gonna put that to the side. We're gonna grab the next shaker. Now this one is called a Whiskey Daisy. Yep, Whiskey Daisy. Sounds a little Southern, I kinda like it. Get rid of my coupe glass. This one I'm gonna put into a highball glass, but of course I'm gonna create it in my mixer, my shake, my mixer, shaker. You can tell I'm a little rusty. Okay, so we're gonna, this one calls for two ounces of rye, using my Angel's Envy. Ooh, I can feel the warmth already down, the warm pettiness. Would be nice if I put ice in there, right? So that was two ounces of rye. I didn't put two ounces in. I probably put about an ounce in. Ice, ice baby. So this says an ounce of lemon juice. My nose is itching. Does that mean I'm gonna get into a fight? Maybe with myself. <laughs> Oh, and this is the first time I'm shooting with my new phone, the Galaxy S10. The, the camera is unbelievable. You can probably see every little pimple on my face. Okay, so an ounce of lemon juice, quarter ounce of simple syrup. Here we go, making it nice and sweet. Okay, quarter ounce of simple syrup. And here comes Agent Orange. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Grand Marnier. Man, I can't believe how much I used to drink of this stuff. I remember the last time I drank it, Phil, God rest his soul, out at OBI South. Well, yeah, I think it was OBI South. Doing um, glasses of Grand Marnier on the rocks. It was like a gorgeous summer day. I was all dressed up, all cute, little mini skirt, looking adorable. It was super hot outside. I was in the air conditioning. I decided to go outside and got hit with a wall of heat and humidity. Boom. I was like, oh, I don't feel so good. I'd immediately go to the bathroom where I spent the next few hours hugging the porcelain for throne. It was not, not attractive, but... Pretty strange. But to be honest with you, not a speck of dirt on my white little outfit. Win-win. That was the day I had a 74 Caddy four-door. I went, they took me out to my car. I slept in my car for another two hours. I went back in and said, Phil, please don't ever serve me that Grand Marnier ever again. End of story. Okay, sorry. You know, I go off on tangents all the time. So this is a, now a half ounce. We've had two ounces of rye, an ounce of lemon juice, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, and then we're gonna do a half an ounce of the Grand Marnier. Oh, just the smell of that. Wow! I miss my Tuesdays at, at uh, KJ Farrell's in Belmore. I miss my original music nights. I miss everybody. But you know what? Hey, 
Life is going on. I got my health. Knock wood. I got a job. Plenty to be thankful for. Okay, so I'm going to pack this with ice. Because you know how I feel about ice, ice baby. Now it calls to... I think you're just supposed to make this in a cocktail or a highball glass. But I'm just going to... I'm going to use a highball glass. So I'm just going to chill it up in here. Because it's going to be poured out with ice, I'm just not... I don't need to worry about it getting super cold. Look, I'm cheating. I'm not making a full cocktail. Oh, that Grand Marnier. And it calls for a splash of club soda. Now, if you all don't know, when you're opening a bottle of club soda and it's warm, it's going to spread. So I'm just going to try to... Oh, of course I can't open it. Oh, here we go. I'm going to let it out slow. Top it with club soda. More with a bow. Now my favorite part. Sorry. Cardboard straw made in America. Aardvark straws. Protect our wildlife. All right, here we go. This is called a whiskey daisy. It sounds kind of like code. Cheers, everybody. I don't know. I think I have such a bad experience with Grand Marnier. That smell is just flashback. I like it. Whiskey Daisy and Award 8. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my little tutorial. I hope, um, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and please make a comment down below on my YouTube page. I love the comments on Facebook, but they don't really count like they do on face, um, bleh, on uh, YouTube. So the more comments I get, the better it is for me. Cheers. And remember, there are tons of kind people in the world, and if you can't find one, be one. See you next time. Bye.